Sustainability is a key concept for this course. And in this presentation, we will define sustainability and give some examples of sustainable and non-sustainable use of resources. To begin with, we all have some concept of what we mean by sustainable. That, that is, sustainable is something that we could continue to do for a long period of time, or we could use a particular resource over a long period of time, and non-sustainable is one is a way of using that resources that would not be sustainable, would not, we could not continue for a long period of time. This slide illustrates the difference between sustainable land use and non-sustainable land use. On the left-hand side, we see the country of Haiti, and on the right-hand side, we see the Dominican Republic. In Haiti, the land use regulations have allowed the people living there to cut down all of the trees, and therefore there are no trees left uh, to gather for firewood or other uses. On the right-hand side, we see the Dominican Republic has a land use policy which is sustainable. So this is a difference between sustainable and non-sustainable. This slide shows an example of non-sustainable use of a resource, in this case, water. Uh, so here we're looking at, on the left, uh, the Ogallala Reservoir that runs from North Texas up through South Dakota. On the right-hand side, we see the use of that water to, for irrigation. The problem with this resource is the water is being extracted from the reservoir at a rate greater than the water is being replenished. So eventually, this water will be depleted. So this is not a sustainable use of this very important resource, the water resource. Global fisheries is another example of a global resource which can either be used sustainably or non-sustainably. Currently, we are using this resource up. Uh, that is, we're overfishing uh, to the extent that we are actually driving some species to extinction or near extinction. This would be a non-sustainable use of this resource. And once again, there is a difference between a sustainable use of the resource, which can go on for a long period of time, essentially forever, versus a non-sustainable use of the resource. In this course, we're mostly interested in sustainability having to do with energy use. So we're concerned with, as we have been in these other examples, with a sustainable use of a resource, in this case an energy resource, versus a non-sustainable use of that resource. So we're, we're going to spend some time trying to have a good understanding of what we mean, a good definition of what we mean by a sustainable energy resource as well as a non-sustainable energy resource. The Brundtland Report gives a good definition of sustainable development. So sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This is an important definition of a sustainable use of a resource, and in this case we're talking about sustainable development, that we can't use it all up so that the next generation won't be able to make use of it. In this course, we will use a definition of sustainable energy, which is basically an extension of the, the definition for sustainable development in the Brundtland Report. So there are three components to this. One is the energy used to be sustainable first must meet the needs, the energy needs of the present. Second, it must do that without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own energy needs. And third, this is a new uh, concept, uh, the sustainable energy use must meet these other needs without degrading the natural environment. So there are three components we must include in our definition of sustainable energy use. And it's the three that we've outlined in this, in this slide. Coal is a very important energy resource. And it is a resource that supplies a great deal of our current energy. So it does meet some of the energy needs of our present. So the first criterion we talked about certainly fits that. Second criterion is that it can meet the needs of the present without compromising the, 
the ability of future generations to supply their energy needs. Well, coal is a non-renewable resource. It's a fossil fuel. Eventually, we will run out of coal. So it, it doesn't really meet that criterion. On the other hand, there's a great deal of coal. So some people would say, you know, it really is sustainable for hundreds of years. So practically speaking, it's sustainable. Well, the third criterion comes in. In fact, coal is a real problem in terms of its impact on the environment, not only during the mining process, as shown here in a strip mine, but also uh, the, the uh, air pollution from coal and also the impact on global climate change. Uh, so this is a serious problem. There are certainly ways to deal with this, clean coal and carbon sequestration, which we'll talk about a little bit. But basically, coal is generally considered to be a non-sustainable resource. Wind is an example of a renewable energy resource. So in terms of the criteria we've talked about, this certainly meets the second criterion. We can use wind, but we don't use it up. So if the current generation uses wind, there'll be plenty of wind left for the next generation. Uh, and also the impact of wind on the environment is generally pretty, pretty benign. So there isn't really a, a problem with wind having a negative impact on the environment. The However, the first criterion, will can wind supply enough energy uh, to meet our current resources? It looks like it can, but this is an area of which there is some debate and some discussion. This course will spend some time looking at fossil fuel energy because most of our energy that we use now actually comes from fossil fuel. But we know that it's not a sustainable energy resource and we'll look at the issues associated with using this non-sustainable uh, energy resource, and we'll look at how we can transition from this non-sustainable energy resource to a more sustainable uh, resource. Renewable energy, on the other hand, is a sustainable source of energy. We'll spend quite a bit of time looking at the, the options for using renewable energy, and we'll, we'll address the question of, is it, can renewable energy supply uh, the energy that we need for the present as well as the energy for the future? Most of us would agree that coal is not a sustainable energy resource and that wind is a sustainable energy resource. However, we would probably have quite a bit of discussion, and we will have some discussion uh, in this class, whether natural gas is a sustainable energy resource. Uh, we'll be looking at that in some detail. And also whether nuclear power is a sustainable energy resource. Now, both of these are finite resources, but there's a great deal of natural gas and there's a great deal of nuclear. Uh, it's not clear that their impact on the environment are, uh, is, uh, it's debatable, I should say, whether the impact on the environment is overall negative or not. Uh, so th this is an area of some discussion, and we'll discuss this in, the cl in this class. Our present actions will determine what the world will look like in the future. If we continue to use non-sustainable energy, or even increase our use of non-sustainable energy, we may be looking at a future with great with a great deal of environmental degradation and global climate change. During this course, we will read about and learn about and discuss various options we have for dealing with our future use of energy and determining what the future of our climate and our environment looks like. Uh, I look forward to uh, working with you as we go through this semester.